The fog rolled in thick over York that night, clinging to the ancient buildings like a spectral shroud. I knew the city well, its cobbled streets whispering stories of Viking raids and Roman legions. But tonight, York felt different, the air charged with an unseen energy. I was nestled in my childhood bedroom, a haven usually, filled with familiar shadows and the creaks of a well-worn house. Yet, tonight, every groan of the floorboards and sigh of the wind sent shivers down my spine. Studying for my history exam, I was engrossed in the rise of the Tudors, a period notoriously steeped in bloodshed. A sudden chill snaked down my neck, the air dropping several degrees in an instant. I glanced up, heart hammering against my ribs, to see the bedroom door creak open a sliver. Dismissing it as an overactive imagination, I returned to my textbook, but the silence that followed was heavy, suffocating. Then, a sound, a soft depression on the mattress beside me. My breath caught in my throat. An unseen weight settled, pushing the bed down with a groan. My blood turned to ice. This was no playful draft. Terror clawed at me as the weight shifted, moving closer. Panic choked off any scream that might have formed in my throat. Then, a touch. Cold, skeletal fingers wrapped around the back of my neck, digging in with unnatural strength. A guttural rasp, a whisper, in a language older than time, grazed my ear. The unseen force shoved my face into the pillow, muffling my whimpers. The pressure was immense, stealing the air from my lungs, the faint scent of decay filling my nostrils. Time stretched into an eternity. Images of York's bloody past flashed in my mind. Plague victims, fallen warriors, the executed on the gallows. Was this one of them? A restless spirit trapped within these ancient walls? A primal urge to scream finally overcame me. With a burst of defiance, I roared a curse, the word echoing strangely within the confines of the pillow. Silence. The pressure lifted abruptly. I dared not move, every muscle frozen in terror. Minutes bled into hours. The first light of dawn crept through the gaps in the curtains, painting the room in a pale, ghostly glow. Exhausted and shaking, I finally dared to peek over the edge of the pillow. The room was empty, bathed in the cool light of a new day. The experience left an indelible mark. Though I never saw the entity again, the feeling of unseen eyes watching, the echo of the chilling whisper remained. York, my beautiful haunted city, held a secret that night, a secret that brushed against the veil of reality, leaving me forever changed. Thank you for watching. Learning English is a journey that opens many doors and connects us to the world. If you enjoyed this story, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment. Don't forget to check out my other videos for more stories and English learning tips. Together, let's master English.